Adam and I have always really liked playing games handheld. It's it's very fun. I mean, some of my favorite games of all time are handheld games. I grew up playing Pokemon on the Game Boy. I had a Game Gear. So the idea of playing PlayStation 5 handheld is just really appealing to me. I'm Adam. And I'm Jordan. And we are Complete Geek TV. So first we want to mention that this third party app is $5, but obviously we think it's well worth it. And the features and possibilities that are available on this app, just it's just so much more than what you get on the regular PlayStation remote play app. I mean, first of all, you can connect third party controllers like a Kishi or a Jungle Cat or anything, even USB to it. And I feel like that's pretty amazing to use any controller you want or a controller that connects directly to your phone in that way, because that's something that makes handheld gaming very, very fun when it's comfortable and convenient. To get this app, you're going to want to go to your app store and download the app PS Play Unlimited PS Remote Play. Once you have downloaded the app, you will need to connect and register your PlayStation station device with the app so that they can talk to each other and that you can actually stream the video of your game to your phone. The Kishi was coming out and we searched all over the place to try to find out information. Mm -hmm. Can you use this with the PS4 as well? No one was talking about if it could or if it could be done. We finally got this and actually found a third party app that makes that um, possible, but not only possible, but also works better. You know, when we first started doing remote play, we used to think, well, this just doesn't look as clear. Things have gotten a lot better. What we want to mention is that to make sure you go into the settings, bump up the quality. If you got good internet, go to 720 or 1080p. And then you can also change your bit rate. You know, we just, we tried it at high and best. It worked for us with our connection, but play around with it, see what works best with you in your house. And obviously if you have a phone or device that supports HDR with the remote play, you can turn on HDR in there as well. We uh, once again wanted to share about this app and it's working now with the PS5, but not just working, but has tons of features that aren't even available on the regular. Like you the know, official yeah. PlayStation app. Yeah. 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 There are some really amazing features and even some that are not in the official PlayStation 4 app. First one I wanted to mention was just having gyro available, which I think even more so is going to be utilized with the PS5, so that's a, a nice feature on there. It's amazing that it can actually detect the gyro sensors in your phone and use it pretty much just like a PlayStation 5 DualSense controller would. It also will use your phone screen as the touchpad so that the touch sensor still works with games and you can even do button mapping so if you don't want to reach and use the touch sensor to do a right swipe you can actually set up button mapping in order to two button tap to register a right swipe on the touchpad and then it does have vibration emulation so obviously it does not have the uh, haptic feedback like the triggers <laughs> on there and you know it's something we do want to mention is that every phone's different that's kind of why these features are really beneficial because it's like yeah, everyone's going to need to do the button mapping and do this but it's awesome that the features are there for people that may not be able to do that on their phone big one that i think is really cool that has been added specifically obviously for this app is the usb to usb for using the ps5 controller okay this is kind of cool that works though Mm -hmm. 
We should mention too, for people that are like, well, I don't really care about portable gaming. That's fine. Then another big feature I would say that's cool about it is that it works on Android devices. So if you have something like the Nvidia Shield or the just an Android TV that's in a different room, then you can still play it on a big screen where your PS5 is not located. It's so almost like having two PS5s in a way. Exactly. Another thing we wanted to mention is it is possible to use this app and play your games outside of your house when you're not connected to the same Wi-Fi network that your PlayStation is. And that does require port forwarding, which isn't the simplest process to explain for every single router that you may have. So because of that, we're not going to go into extreme detail. If you would like more help with that, there is a link in the description from the developer explaining a little bit more about port forwarding and how to set that up. Speaking of information, Information from the developer himself. Customer service with this app has been incredible. Yeah, maybe. While reviewing it, we've had a few questions, so we've contacted him and he's been very fast about getting back with us. We have also provided a link in the description below that will take you to a help page for the app. So if you have any questions, there's a lot of good information on there and hopefully it can help you get everything running smoothly on your phone or Android device that you're using this app on. PlayStation Remote Play is something we've actually covered a lot on our channel and it's something both me and Adam are very excited about because we really like the Switch and we like playing games handheld. Some of our favorite games originally started as handheld mm -hmm. games. And just the idea that you can play PlayStation 5 anywhere in the world on your phone is really exciting. In our experience using it over the last like few weeks now, it's more stable than the official PlayStation Remote Play app, at least in my experience. Yep, with a uh, lot more features. We hope this video was helpful. Uh, we're obviously big fans of the app and the features that it brings. It's been really fun using it, so we're gonna probably be playing this a lot. We really hope you guys have liked this video. If you have, please comment, like, subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Please comment, like, subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs> To make you laugh, it's stupid. I'm sorry. Mm. <laughs> just dang it. Please like. You can just comment. You can subscribe. You can just like. Okay, can we restart this? <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> no one's really talking about. Yeah. Oh, that's where I go. We are Complete Geek TV. What was I going to say? <laughs>